<laughs> Why are you heeing me? I don't like this, man. What the flip? Why is there a battle gate? Get a good meal? What do you mean? Oh, fuck. Powerful adversaries let me on this gate. Oh my god, it's a three star. What the fuck? Uh, you know what we are gonna do? Hey, man. Nice. This is like the easiest one. How does anyone in the world say that that is hard? How does anyone in the world say that that's hard? I want to see like fail compilations on the fucking egg. Because there's no way. Here we go, chat. Here we go. What the? Hello? It's time to see what this Battle Gate 14 is all about. Secret boss? Who knows? What is that? I want to see your moves. Ooh, okay. Okay. Whenever he does that, I just got to be able to hold up my guard. Oh, my second chance is already used. That's not good. I like how he's trying to just attack me in the air. <laughs> oh, that's funny as shit, dude. Called it. Oh, dude, do you see how much this reprisal boost is? Holy crap. Oh, damn. Oh, he went for that back-to-back. -back. Oh, shit, nice. Oh, lord. Um, Give me my ultimates. Just so I could heal, or that's not gonna heal me. Shit. I'm gonna have to. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for an attack straight away. Oh, he doesn't go away here? Ooh, that's not good. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. No! Oh, please, just kill. Oh, I got him! Okay. Third try. All secret reports. Alright, let's go. Recollections in my life. I woke in a cell alone until the researchers came with their test and their prodding to uncover my identity. I had no answer to offer them. Four friends and a key. That is the sum total of my memory. I, call, I cannot even recall my name. I was simply called X there. My only solace was the time I spent talking with the two boys who would visit from time to time. One day a man came to take me from the prison. I could not see him for the darkness. For the darkness, okay. Save that he wore an eye patch, so I'm guessing this is Zigbar. Even now, years on, I feel no closer to understanding who or what I am. May my heart be my guiding key. Um, Mark of Mastery journal. So that one was called Recollection. This one's called Mark of Mastery. All right. Some days have passed since I set off on my journey to prepare for the Mark of Mastery examination. Eric has asked for me to undertake the same pilgrimage, but apparently I am to be first to tour the worlds within, written of in the old fairy tales. Ericus. Until a few short years ago, I only my own I'd known only my own world. A speck of land surrounded by sea, but how I dreamed of yearned for the world beyond and granted guidance from the future. I left that nest behind as I treaded the path to my master's side. I came in contact with darkness in many forms. I knew even then, as my instinct, terrifying as the power was, it could be harnessed. Let me not see that's on next. It could be harnessed, mastered. Ericus is a blue blood descended from the very first masters in the age of fairy tales, but I did not come as far to indulge in adulation. I will be as pure as equal, and to do that, I must learn to wield the power born from both darkness and light in proper balance. Xehanort. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting lore. So the man with the eye patch, that's Zigbar, aka Lushu, and may and may my heart may my heart be my guiding key, originated as a master of masters for age, huh? Oh, that's true. That's true, true, true. Experiments of the heart, notes on subject X, excerpt, excerpt one. Subject was found in the central square shortly after dawn. Female, approximately 15 years old. After seven days observation, she spoke her first words but could not provide a name. Subject exhibits signs of profound amnesia and displays concern about which world this is. Her words suggest that she departed in her home world with others. Though she cannot recall the names of her erstwhile companions, all efforts to restore or to explore those memories have met with a rejection response. After his initial experience on the answer the why sees his research into the heart, his hands stayed by some fear I cannot fathom. Yet this new subject is like me, devoid of memories. She's the perfect example upon which to continue my master's work. She too could benefit benefit from it by traversing the heart. We have a direct path into memory. I myself have begun to reclaim my lost past thanks to these very experiments. Who is she? What has she come? These are questions no scientist could ignore. And the words she muttered may your heart be your guiding key. Same one. Ava was, or Ava, sorry, Ava didn't show up at the end. So Purple literally sent me a meme as, "Where is Ava? Could this be Ava? I don't know." Research I have compiled. Worse still, he ordered the release of my remaining subjects. She's gone. Where's Subject X now? 
has wise master and son hidden her away. Whatever the case, I will not be deterred. I will take her place as the first subject in the grand experiment to come. So yeah, we actually know who's writing these now, which is kind of cool. Memoirs. Excerpt one. We just finished experiments of the heart. One, the castle was a wonderland to us children. Uh, within its walls, Anthony Wise conducted his research, and the fruits it bore allowed everyone outside to live in peace and happiness. That alone was enough to stoke our interest. Though not all of the rumors that escaped its walls were so benevolent, by night the muffled sounds of human wails emerged. There was talk of dangerous human experimentation. Lee and I couldn't help but hatch a plot to steal inside the state of curiosity. Is this going back to like Dream Job Distance? Because we saw Lee and I'm guessing this is Syx who's or Isa who's writing this. The two who stood guard at the gates were researchers themselves, though you wouldn't think it to see them, think it to see them. Massive and barrel chested as they were, and slipping past that duo was only the first hurdle. It proved one not only not easily cleared, we were found and tossed out on our ears time and again. Or time and again. Okay, I, I thought it was a time and time. On the day we finally secured our entry, we descended the long spiral stair at the heart of the castle to find a dark space below it. Lined with cages, there wasn't light enough to see if they were inhabited, and we were in no position to call out to any occupants within. Um, yet, we st yet we could feel it. A definite presence there in the black terror washed over us, and we immediately regretted coming. But just as we turned to flee, we heard the faintest of voices. The urge to run was nigh overpowering, but someone or something beckoned us. Oh, I know. Oh, there, framed by a tenuous sliver of light, we found her. Why am I forgetting her name? Um, Strelitzia? Is that St uh, Strelitzia, maybe? I don't know. Alright, memoirs, excerpt two. Um, it was too late to make out her features. We spoke to her in hushed whispers. Who was she? Why was she in prison? Here she had no answers for us, had no memories at all. She was an enigma, but I knew I wanted to help her. And so we continued our infiltration. And also, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, and so we continued our infiltrations. Most of them stopped short at the, ca at the castle gates. But we did manage our way inside. We spoke with her. That was all the comfort two children like us could offer. But Lee had other ideas. He was determined to free her. We slipped into the castle that day. Okay, anyway, anyway, that day, knowing only that we wanted with all our hearts to save her. But we did not find her inside on that day or the next or any of our subsequent visits. Had, just, had she been moved? Had, she, had we simply imagined her? Lee and I knew there was only one way to be certain. And so we stand before the castle gates today, not as trespassing children, but in order to become Anselm Wise's newest apprentice society. So as you see, uh, three's reports are not just Anselm's or Xehanort's, but a variety. I like it. I like it. On the rest of the program and reanimation, following my erasure and my recompletion as a human, I did not awaken right away. Perhaps the damage was exceptionally grave, even after waking I remained in bed, pondering my next course of action. In my work on the rest of the program for the organization, I produced some tw uh, 20 vessels. Holy shit. Most of the early results were failures, not one of them granted a number. The first success to emerge from that early lot was the Riku replica. So essentially, Shion, number one, was essentially indistinguishable from a natural human. Though she became unstable due to the influence of others, using those two as my foundation, I worked to construct a number of nine perfect replicas. But just as a near completion, my efforts were cut short. I suspect Xehanort aims to use both the initial lot as, as well as unused replicas from my later work. I rose today and decided to walk out to the square my first outing in some time, yet my stroll was interrupted when a surprising visitor appeared with an unexpected offer. No younger than me, he'd risen to become Zenith's right hand. I accepted his terms and became a nobody once more. He retained access to the old replica program that way. Whatever it takes to his own. Vexen. Oh, okay. I didn't know if it was Sykes or not, because they talked about them becoming apprentices. But that's cool. Name all 20? What do you mean, name all 20? There's like th fucking 13 Xehanorts. And some of them failed. I don't know. The real organization. Xehanort seeks to gather 12 vessels, which together with his true actual self, he considers the real organization. 13. Now that he has the numbers he needed, or he needs, Demix and I are being treated as reserves. Several others who serve Xemnas in the old organization have followed the same course of mind, electing to abandon their newly restored humanity and rejoin the real organization as nobodies. But not Xemnas. Xemnas cannot exist in the present because there is already a Xehanort here. The old man in charge. Xemnas cannot exist in the present. There's a lot of right. The old man in charge. The old man's humanity prevents his heartless and nobody others think within the past and his younger self from being denizens of this time. I don't know what that means. Den denizens, denizens, I don't know. Whatever. Sure. Cool. Um, to circumvent this. Xehanort is using the prototype replicas I created in the past as containers, plucking his other self's hearts from the time they existed. Xehanort ordered me to refine the prototypes to make them closer still to the real thing, perfecting my creation so they may have true flesh and blood, human suits, my own purposes as well. All that remains for my atonement is to devise a uh, way to pass on as many of the vessels as I can to those who truly deserve them. So basically all the time, um, all the time travelers and the org are Xemnas's, Ansem's, and young Xehanort's hearts in a replica body. Oh, that's okay. I have poured over the data of my master and trusted to recreate off my preliminary conclusions. Within source heart are three compartmentalized boxes, each containing the heart of another. One box holds rocks, another holds a second heart that has been with Sora nearly as long, the third has held its heart much longer. These hearts have melded with Sora's and no longer have voices of their own. Any attempt to mechanically extract them could prove as dire for Sora as what caused him to become heartless in the first place. First, a vessel for each heart must be readied, then a spark of some sort is required to reduce the waking. Obviously, the ideal, the ideal solution is to restore each heart to its own body, but whatever the case for the two unknown individuals, Roxas possesses no such thing. The same is true for Nami. We believe Versailles to Kyrie's heart. Still, alternate bodies can be secured for them. All their hearts required to be awakened is that spark people they care for and who care for them can show them the way home. Complete and perfect digitalization of the heart is impossible. We can only hope to partially reconstruct it. Thus, I see no way forward but to extract the hearts we so desperately need directly from within Sora. Fortunately, the data stored in Twilight Town contains a near perfect record of the memories of those who live there and were on for Roxas and Nominate, especially the sisters. 
conspectus. Oh, conspectus. Oh, it's like the beginning thing. And some code conspectus. I'm going to search that word up. What does that word mean? A summary or overview of a subject. Um, and some code conspectus excerpt two. As for how to maintain these hearts or how to contain their hearts. The only conceivable option is the replicas. If you transfer the digital memories from the Twilight Archive, the replicas should be able to, to reconstruct each individual human appearance with near perfect results. Then their hearts need only the right spark to wake them. So they may find their way out of Sora and Kyrie and into those two or into those newly made bodies. The replica program was truly revolutionary, but it was incomplete at the time of the whole organization's dissolution. Without Evan, how are we to further the research? We need at least three replicas, one for Roxas, one for Dominic, and one for the unknown stowaway within Sora's heart. Yeah. These are difficult quandaries. Sure. But as I work through my master's data, I find myself remembering the taste of ice cream. When I was a boy, he would bring me some when we took blocks together. There will be times to regret my betrayal later. For now, my focus must be on restoring Roxas and Dominic and proving my master had good intentions. Observations extra one. I've seen it through the Keyblade World folded exactly as written on the lost page. Now the Keyblade. Now the Keyblade, the master. No, I did not get the classic page. I will get closer. But the lost page. Oh, the lost page. I didn't think about it. I've seen it through the Keyblade War unfolded exactly as written on the lost page. Um, now the Keyblade, the master entrusted to me, must be bequeathed to another. Five union leaders have been chosen from the surviving data lands. I will pass the Keyblade to one of them and then continue watching the future unfold. Yet it seems that someone has pulled the old switcheroo. One of the five is an imposter. Someone the master did not choose. He represents a virus in the program he so carefully wrote. The virus has begun a swoon we're learning. Has begun a strange undertaking. A reckless plot to allow the five to escape into another world line. Surely such a thing can't be possible. We're talking about the same trip that allowed the dandelions to transfer to other world lines after the Keyblade War. But these children are no masters. They haven't the means, unless, of course, a certain lady of magic summoned here from the future knows more than I do. The whole union leader thing was supposed to be by the books. Are these new events just another phase in the master's grand plan? Oh no. And now you can finish, finish Union X. That is after the DLC and next game. Jesus Christ. Lucia report? Is it a Lucia report? Makes sense. Observations excerpt two. We went ahead, uh, so you already know the answers. What? What do you mean I already know the answers? What do you mean by that? Huh? Virus? Ben. I'm going to become a virus and overwrite the program that is this world's future. What? And the lost page was all about Luchu being the traitor. Ven is the one that shouldn't have been chosen. Yeah, I know Ven is the one that shouldn't have been chosen. So he's like the virus. I'm guessing. Oh, I'm bad. I'm forgetting I have bad memory. So Lucius, the virus. Wait, so Mickey is that Um, even on a word line with no keyblade war, peace is but a dream. In the absence of us and our master, a darkness arrived, one that shall surely lead the world to yet another demise. Amid the chaos, I bequeath my keyblade to one of the union leaders, just as the master instructed. I watch as the five were sent to another world line at no small cost. Sorry. Ensuring the line of keyblade builders will live on. And now keyblade lists, I must depart this land to fulfill my final task. This means casting my own body aside and so journeying my part in vessel after vessel as many as it takes. But I will continue gazing upon each passing arrow, one unto the next. In time, be it years or decades, centuries or millennia, I will meet the five once more. Somewhere in this cyclical history of things, a chosen one will appear and reenact the keyblade war when the scapegoat arrives and takes my keyblade in hand. That will be the, be the time to take the stage and finish my role. The lost masters will be working. Excerpt three. It seems this body, this name will be my last. The lives I have lived over the ages can fill volumes, but for now I must focus on what matters most. The Keyblade has been successfully passed down generation to generation, and it seems a Keyblade master devoted to darkness may finally arise. Until now, I have watched over the course of events from a distance. Perhaps the time has come to intervene. I need only play the role of a fool, the serious of the Keyblade power. I will don the mask of his ally in order to keep watch over my Keyblade from close by. The gazing eye, a Keyblade force from the eye of the master of masters. He passed it to me as I have to others, and through it he can see the future. All that will ever come to pass. Spanning the ages in body, master body, life after life, my task has been to keep vigil over the eye as it passes from hand to hand. It has been a long time, longer than I can express, but now, at last, the Keyblade War has begun, and Kingdom Hearts will open a true and complete Kingdom Hearts, born of the class between darkness and light. I will soon be reunited with my old companions, and in that moment, my long vigil will reach its end. He will return. Well, that's all the secret reports. We finally read them. Lore is done. So you have come this far, and still you understand nothing 